since like 17, 16, but I got my license at 18. So about a couple years. Now. I'm 19 now. So my first car I got actually before I got my license, funny enough, when I think, it, oh, I got it the exact day of graduation because I wanted to drive like drive to graduation and like because it was it was like virtual so i mean not virtual but like drive through graduation so i wanted to just my most recent car i got only like a month ago honda accord 2000 <laughs> like twenty thousand miles on that i was just driving a whole bunch a mitsubishi lancer sportsback uh 2011 i just I just kind of wanted a, a slightly bigger car. I mean, it's not too much bigger and like just something newer in general. I ended up selling my old one to someone who was also giving his son his first car. I moved on and bought this. A month ago off of Offer Up and I was with my dad. He was just like, yeah, just find something on there. They sometimes have good stuff. And that was like the newest one and like the had like 120 something miles so it was like around the mileage i wanted as well and then they were like uh they're pretty close only like an hour away and the neighborhood was decent so like it's a bunch of factors so that i was getting like a reliable car for like university which is starting in about a month and i mean it, i'm just trying to see like how i'm feeling like if i have like the inertia to continue into more school or Cause like, um, my previous car, I had to get like a few things on like the starter, like stuff was just like old car stuff where you just have to replace it. And then for this one, I was kind of like, everything seems good now, but like, I know eventually it's going to like, I'm going to need replacing a bunch of money put into it. And I, and then I like, as I was like, kind of like in that like state of mind, I saw a YouTube ad about, um, Olive and I was like, that's that's literally perfect and then i just was like yeah I'll, I'll put this in addition to my insurance and it wasn't like like too crazy so it's like affordable man. and i remember it was like it's like one of like the hip new type of commercials where it just like caught my attention and silly yeah of course it was like an ad so like i'm used to skippy but then i don't know like i was like thinking about it and they just kept talking and like uh and it was like a few minutes so i just sat and i was like okay, I'll, I'll do this. And then I went online, uh, like, I think that exact same moment and checked cool, it man. out. I didn't even, I even know like stuff like this was a thing. I thought like, I like, I kind of like was glancing, but I just looked at this and I really liked like, I don't know, it seems secure and all that. And like my car fit the parameters to get signed up. So I was like, I'm, I feel like I'm in the right place. So yeah, I just signed up here. Online, I did like the little chat uh, box thingy, and I just mm -hmm. asked like a, a couple questions about like like how exactly is it covered or how it works generally. Like just like like slightly questions I didn't get from like reading everything, and then uh, he like answered, and it it was like what I wanted to hear basically. So I was like, yeah, that confirms like what I was um thinking. Like nice, straightforward, like like to the point answered what I wanted and I was like thanks uh, <laughs> I mean it's like what I uh want from uh chat box no like filler or like around the point just like straight to what I want to know that was another thing like when I saw it I was like you could do all of this like without like any I don't know interaction really you just like go in and then verify and then bet. I was like wow this is like real simple it took me like like 20 minutes, I want to say, maybe. Sweet. Yeah, it wasn't long at all. It's been, like, uh, more modern looking, and, like, everything seemed new, and, like, like where it needed to be. So, like, how I was saying, like, if I would get approved as well, like, reading the parameters and entering, like, my car information, that was, like, real simple. And, of course, like, using the text box if I had any questions. And, like, everything was, like, straight to the point and, like, spread out, like, a nice interface. It was, like, I don't know. It was just like like what I would want. It was just everything was just like this is looking better and better type of deal. Oh, I got my dad about it too because I was like, there's this thing where it's like in, basically insurance for um like car problems, and then he's like, yeah, that's that's uh even better because he he just wanted me like in a reliable car as well, and like 
having that as a another peace of mind was you know nice to have and then i was also talking to my girlfriend about it like uh i was like i just found this this cool place <laughs> um to insure my car and a couple friends and stuff i just didn't know it was like a thing really so i was just like kind of telling so about like the whole day just like anything so that was, yeah. like <laughs> and that was pretty exciting for me to share it's a typical day <laughs> Like a couple of my close buddies, um, like you, you, well, basically it was like, and I was like, yeah, I also got it like back by uh this thing called Olive, like, cause they they remember as well like my old car, I kept having to like change things in it and do stuff, and I'm like, it was I don't know, it was getting annoying, and then yeah, it's super expensive. I think I paid like like close to what I paid for the car in general, cause it was so cheap, but yeah. First, it was like it was a little jerky when I got it, so I had to get the tranny fluid change, and then the alternator was going bad, so I had to change that. My starter went bad, I had to change that battery. I was having battery problems, but it ended up being a harness wiring problem. I had to get that done, and I think that's that's most of it. But like tires that too i got a, a screw in my tire and then heartbreaking to like go and pay or just like i, I started getting used to it after a while like what's wrong now what do i gotta go check out <laughs> and then i also got some oil leaks fixed which are that was a lot um and yeah i was like i'm kind of i'm kind of tired of your car so when i when i was like in like this limbo state of just i got a lot of things fixed i was like I think I'm gonna sell it and get something where I don't have to worry about some like moon, like just old car problems for a while. So I think this is just a thing I'll I'll probably start doing for like all my future cars because it's I mean I haven't fortunately like had anything like where I have to use it, but like it's just nice you know to have that just in case. The kit that I dealt with when I first reached out to all of he was stationed in portland oregon all right it was justin Kassig, i believe i mean to me i always view it would would i hire this guy and you know he was you know he was a guy he would be a guy that i would hire to come work for me car i've been driving since 1976 car was a 1974 Mercury Comet. The car had 2,000 miles on it, and I paid $1,200 for it. Friend, I was working at a gas station. I needed a car. I was commuting into Boston to go to college. It was built out of steel and aluminum, and that was my car. Coopers, uh, a maroon, a gray, and an orange. And I have um, a Kia Sorento, and I have a, a brand new lease, um, a Hyundai plug-in Ionic. Oh, and then I have a TR7 as well. I have an 81 TR7. I've, I've owned five 81, I've owned five TR7s since 1978. Uh, getting a supplemental warranty was, you know, was very affordable. Five hundred dollar deductible. I think I, I think I paid fifteen dollars a month. It was a no brainer. I, I, I get them, and they usually, uh, you know, they usually. I have that robo, um, the leading, uh, you know, whatever. The, I I can't remember. I think I price shopped. Well, I usually price shop. Um, I usually get two other bids. Um, then I look at the reputation scores, and it's a balance. The price for what I wanted on that one car and because everything else is still covered under warranty that I have. Um, other than the uh, 2012 Mini Cooper and the TR7, which we don't care about because they're, they're, they're consumable, disposable, but, you know, it doesn't make a difference. There's no need to have a warranty on them. Um, this one, the reason why I, the reason why I put a warranty on this particular 2017 Cooper is that it was it's a low mileage car 
It's a unique car in that it's a Clubman with a six-speed twin turbo stick shift, and I'm going to be keeping it. A lot of my most of my cars get rotated out. I'm going to keep because I enjoy driving it, and um, for me, you know, 15, 16 bucks a month was nothing. It allowed me a high deductible, which I can afford. Right. So really, what I bought from you guys is catastrophic insurance in the unlikely yeah. situation that, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. as you know, Mini Coopers are built by BMW. They're very expensive yeah. to repair. The site was easy. Um, he, I, I must have went online. Then I got the email on 520, and then I called him directly at his number. And then we talked on the phone, and I, I just like. His whole vibe was great. Uh, it was no no high pressure or anything. He asked me about my cars. I believe you know, you know. I it was very clear uh, on what I wanted. I wanted the highest deductible, um, use money a month, and um, that was it. And um, so I, I I I finished with him, and I did more research, and then. Rather than circling back to him directly, I, I went online and I did it myself. I just, you know, the gentleman that I spoke with was really, you know, you know, that's the type of person you want answering that phone. You know, he didn't feel like he was under pressure. He was there to provide information and didn't feel like, um, you know, like a dealership closing, you know. And that's good, you know. That's good. That 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 was a positive. You know, the the, the website was easy to use, but but you, you know what? If your website isn't easy to use, that's a horse on you. Finding the right people to pick up the phone, or to make that outbound call, or take the inbound call, that's the challenge. And you know, you have to incentivize these people. Obviously, he he felt comfortable in his position, and uh, it was easy to deal with, versus you know, other people on the phone and we've all had those phone calls, you know, high pressure and, you know, nonsense. So the key, the key pivotal and focal point was, was Justin. So there you go. Guess UV. That's the one I just had fixed. Piper motor and the linkage went out but, uh, three weeks ago. Go back yesterday from the repair place. Windshield wiper motor, just about a about a little over a week ago it was just going real slow about last wednesday uh, the wipers just went up and they stopped i didn't want to take a chance on driving in the rain we had a uh, weather reports that it was possibly going to rain this past you know monday i went to a local guy they said hey i got this olive.com aftermarket insurance thing called it in and they got a got an approval um uh, you know, you see these commercials all over the place for, uh, you know, I called them up about uh, three or four months ago, you know, when I see they, they got their ads plastered all over the place here in California. And, you know, when I was talking to them, the guy says, oh, we can't sell this insurance in California. Right. I said, well, why the hell are you advertising it on about 20 channels out here? But, uh, you know, I've had a number of people ask me about that. And I says, well, you can't get it in California. You know, I says, I've got this olive.com. I checked around a few other ones, you know, that popped up on online. And, the, I, you know, I clicked on olive and read about it. And I says, well, I'll give them a call. To them, they got a bunch of blowfart uh, salespeople, you know, trying to sell stuff. So I never did anything with them, you know. And, you know, they kept calling me back and calling me back. Well, don't you want this? Well, don't you want this? And I says, I says, I says, geez, man, you must be uh, hungry for a meal if you're calling like this and talking like this. I says, that's no way to sell something. I, think, I don't think I even got one call, you know. The guy that I talked to up there, he was uh, very cordial and stuff and everything. And uh, I know I uh, were going real slow about three weeks ago. I've had the uh, olive insurance for about three months now. I had aftermarket insurance through the dealer. Four-year factory warranty ran out. The package uh, that I bought from them expired about a, almost a year ago. I guess all you people that have these packages was searching around, and I decided to go with Olive, you know, warranty. You know, covered almost everything.